seven. That's ten. Whoa! That's ten, all right. Well, I guess you won fair and square. Or fair and triangle. <laughs> because your head looks like a triangle. Earth and death and love and birth and peace and war on the planet. This wig was born as a long lace front, but then I attached a cardboard cutout to it, glued it a lot of jumbo braid, and then covered all that with the hair from the base wig. The base wig was actually a really cheap lace front from eBay. It was only about $20. And the only thing we're gonna do to it right now is take two sections in the front and cut them to be the bangs later. You can do that part on your own head to gauge the length of the bangs, but for the rest of this, you will need a wig head. Next, I prepped the base for the cardboard insert. I took most of the hair from the crown and pulled it forward, and then I tied off the back. Once you've done that, we're not gonna touch the base wig's hair for a while. We're moving on to cardboard and teasing. You can make your cardboard shape as big or small as you want it, but make sure the length of your base wig's hair is long enough to go over the tallest part of your triangle. Also, make sure you put the cardboard in the dead center of the wig for balance. You don't, you don't want this thing falling over. And make sure you have a hole big enough for your head and your neck. To attach that cardboard to the wig, I took wire and made little loops on the bottom of the cardboard and then wove the same wire into the netting of the wig. So then I used those loops to sew the cardboard to the wig and then took the loose ends of the wire and duct taped them back to the cardboard. So for the bulk of the volume in this wig, I used Jumbo Braid. It's a kind of synthetic hair commonly used for braiding and dreadlocks for regular people. And all I did to it to add it to Peridot was tie it in a knot in the middle and then hot glue the knot to the base of the cardboard. So then with the help of a teasing comb and a heck of a lot of hairspray, I shaped all of that synthetic hair into a big triangular poof. Once you have the big poof that you want, we can take the base hair's wig and smooth it over all the teasing. You literally just take a section, hold it upward, and spray it down onto your poof. You can tease the sections closest to the inside of the wig, but the closer you get to the outside, the less teasing you should do. For most of the hair in the back, I left the ends hanging over so I could use them later for extra coverage in the front. This was also a good way to keep the hair in place while it was being set. So then I repeated the entire process on the front of the wig. I attached the jumbo braid, made the big poof. But before I touched the base wig's hair on the front, I brought over the ends from the back and smoothed those over. So the hair on the sides was particularly hard to keep in place while spraying it. So I clipped them to the points of the triangle to keep them in place while the hairspray set. But the closer you get to the top, the easier it is to just let it floop over. Floop is a technical term for let hang over the backside. Then I smoothed out all the flooped over hair. The final thing to do this wig is trim the bang sections we cut earlier. You wanna do vertical cuts upward and up and down strokes so you end up with nice feathered ends instead of choppy blunt ends. So this is Peridot, all finished. She's not that hard to put on. She's kind of become a helmet. So to put her on, I hold on to the bangs on the front and go from the back. And then you want to find the back of the wig, pull it all the way down. And then you want to take straight pins and pin down the back. You can also take your cardboard and make sure it's a little snug on your neck. I also put the same kind of straight pins in the top. This is actually several months after all of that footage was filmed, so this thing has taken quite a beating at several cons. You may notice this wig doesn't have the bump in the back that she has in the show, and I don't have an excuse for that other than I didn't do it. This is the part where I hold my pet and ask you to like and subscribe, so like and subscribe please. Here's Trillion. Bye! Is there anything that's worth more? Is there anything that's worth more than peace and love on the planet Earth?